We present a new illumination technique for optical microscopy that we refer to as projected light microscopy. Instead of using a low frequency uniform illumination, we apply high frequency projected light. This allows a controlled spatial and temporal modulation of the illumination with reflective or transmissive specimens. A camera equipped upright light microscope and a customized projection system serve as a basic platform for all our experiments. For reflected illumination, projector, camera, and ocular rays pass through the same objective. They remain registered. No matter if the specimen is moved, the microscope is refocused, or its magnification is changed. For transmitted illumination, the projector is attached to the back illumination port of the microscope. Its image has to be focused separately through the condenser optics. The parameters for geometric projector camera registration and for flat field correction are measured using structured light. For reflected illumination, this is carried out once on a front surface mirror. For transmitted illumination, it currently has to be repeated every time the specimen is moved or the microscope parameters are changed. In particular, reflected illumination microscopy suffers from poor visibility of low contrast specimens or strong reflections and scattering. By first modulating the illumination with the projector and a second time by the specimen, we can enhance the contrast of the optical image that is observed through the oculars. Note that the optical image exceeds the dynamic range of a single shot camera image in this example. We have developed a closed projector camera feedback loop that estimates the modulation of uniform white light with the specimen, even though it is physically illuminated with an arbitrary illumination pattern. This allows us to move the sample or change the microscope's parameters while using the technique. Strong highlights that result from reflection or from scattering can be suppressed to further improve the visibility. We detect such highlights in the estimated modulation and clip them in the computed illumination pattern. The non-clipped areas can still be contrast enhanced. By projecting the inverse of the estimated modulation, we can balance the contrast of specimens that would produce too high a contrast under uniform illumination. A carefully computed illumination pattern enhances the perceived local contrast of specimens that are observed through the oculars. Applying a decorrelation stretch to the illumination greatly enhances color contrast. In addition to the enhancement of contrast, highlights caused by specular reflection and local scattering can be compensated for. While an improved visibility is beneficial for direct observations through the oculars, our techniques can also support digital microscopy applications. Reducing highlights or increasing the signal-to-noise ratio through an optical contrast enhancement can advance image analysis techniques, such as automatic thresholding, as shown in this example. We believe that our approach is not only useful for microscopy, but also holds additional potential for application in other fields, such as endoscopy.